thing that we can look at in terms of you know blame is exposure to violence. And again, this is another topic that is brought up in different types of psychology. This is also brought up in social psychology, but it's highly debated. And it's actually one of the hottest debates we usually have whether I teach this in my social psychology class or even in community psychology class, this is sometimes the topic that the debate goes on and on. <laughs> so um, it's something we can bring up in discussion group if it comes up. And so being exposed to physical abuse or violence in the neighborhood or in the house or in media um, has been highly researched and shown that it can lead to more violence. In an earlier chapter, we talked about externalizers, people who tend to externalize abuse that they have witnessed or experienced, and they are more likely to become the perpetrator. So they're more likely to become aggressive also if they have been you know, victim to violence or witness to violence. And so if you've taken social psychology, or even if you took psychology 102, which I think you all have, you've likely heard of um, Albert Bandura's study of the Bobo doll experiment. So I just have an image here um, from the study that you've likely seen footage of. So basically Bandura put children into two groups. One group witnessed an adult playing nicely with a Bobo doll. The other group witnessed um, an adult being violent and pointing a gun at the Bobo doll. And after they had witnessed this, the group of children that witnessed the violence were much more likely to be violent with the Bobo doll. They were even likely to find more creative ways to be violent with this Bobo doll. And so this was a very controversial study because people, a lot of people say, well, I watch a ton of violent television and I'm not a violent person. So there's gonna have to be an interaction with the person and the witnessing. And other people, you know, would say, well, I mean, it's a Bobo doll. I mean, it's, you're expected to shove this Bobo doll and it bounces back up. I mean, that's the whole point. But they've done a lot of other studies. So, for example, they had children um, watch an aggressive cartoon and another group of children watch a different cartoon. And then they watched their behavior secretly in the cafeteria. And there was a lot more um, aggressive acts in the children who watched the violence. So there was more pushing in the cafeteria line and that type of thing. Um, so most of these studies have found that there are um, there, there is more aggressive behavior um, in children who witness violence. Um, there's also more desensitization, and so people tend to be um, they don't aren't, they're not shocked by the violence anymore um, because they're just used to it. Um, there might also be unrealistic fears, um, which is basically a, a change in perspective that the world is a dangerous place. And so if you're you know, exposed to a lot of violence and then all of a sudden, you know, somebody says something to you in real life, you might take it as a threat um, versus you might have not taken as a threat. And so it kind of changes your perspective. It primes you to expect violence or aggression. Um, but again, this is an extremely controversial topic because like I said, I mean, my son plays Fortnite and, you know, it will be talking and he'll say, oh yeah, I, you know, I killed this guy. I mean, I, mean, I knocked him down, you know, and, and he's not a violent kid at all. And, um, you know, other, other people in my class have said, oh, I play, I don't know, what was it, Grand Theft Bus or something where you walk around killing people and stealing their cars. And I mean, it's, it's a lot of people play these games and they're not violent people. And so we're not saying that it's gonna make everybody more violent, um, but what they're saying is that there's a greater chance that some people who are, are doing it are gonna be more likely violent. So there's gonna be like a subgroup of the people who are exposed who it might make more violent, but it doesn't necessarily do it to everybody. But if this you know group of people didn't witness the violence, then that subgroup wouldn't have um, led to more violence. So there's gonna be an interaction between the personality of the person and also the exposure to violence. So it's not gonna be everybody who's exposed is going to become more violent. So I'm just gonna show another quick video on this of a study that was done about 10 